here we study the particle nature of light here light is supposed to be con consisting of uh, energy packets these energy packets are called quanta each quanta having the energy h nu here where nu is the frequency of the radiation if nu is the frequency of the radiation then the radiation is supposed to be containing a uh, energy packets these energy packets are called quanta energy of each quanta is a uh, h nu and these quanta are called photon means uh, when the radiation is going to interact with the matter it uh, interacts as it is um, as it is made up of uh, particles called photons when radiation incident on uh, is going to interact with the matter it interacts as uh, if it is made up of uh, as it is made up of the particles called photons here and uh, every photon has energy e is equal to h nu energy of every photon is the h nu as well as its momentum is a h nu by c energy of uh, each photon is e is equal to h nu and momentum of uh, every photon is p is equal to h nu by c and uh, the energy of h nu for the photon and momentum h nu by c for the photon is same for all photons uh, in a electromagnetic wave in a particular radiation in a radiation or in an electromagnetic wave the energy and momentum is same for all photons here whatever the intensity of the radiation even though we change the intensity but the energy and uh, momentum of all photons remains uh, same and uh, these uh, photons are electrically neutral the photons are electrically neutral so that they cannot be deflected by the either electric field or magnetic field means uh, the electric field and magnetic field could not uh, deflect the photons because photons are electrically neutral they neither having a positive charge nor negative charge that is the reason why while electromagnetic radiation is propagating in a electric field or in a magnetic field this electromagnetic radiation cannot be deviated so that electric field and magnetic field cannot be deviates the electromagnetic radiation because it is made up of photons photons are electrically neutral and uh, here the photon electron collision consists that conservation of the total energy and uh, conservation of the total momentum whenever photon is colliding with the electron means during the photon electron collision the total energy and the total momentum always remains constant means they are conserved they could not change here here we summarize the the particle nature of light uh, like this now we will study the wave nature of the matter here we study the wave nature of matter the wave nature of matter was introduced by the scientist de broglie and also we know that here there is wave nature and particle nature for the radiation the radiation is exhibiting the wave nature as well as a particle nature radiation exhibiting the wave nature during the phenomena interference diffraction polarization and uh, it is exhibiting the particle nature during the phenomena photoelectric effect and compton effects and also in our daily life means uh, whenever we are watching an object uh, during gathering and focusing the light uh, by the eye lens the light behaves as a wave whenever we are uh, whenever the eye lens is gathering the and focusing the light during these uh, the light behaves as a wave but whenever it is going to absorb by the rods and cones on the retina of the eye it uh, means a light behaves as a made up, it is made up of particles means light is uh, exhibiting the here both the natures wave and uh, particle nature then the scientist de broglie got a doubt that if it is uh, possible for wave and particle nature for uh, radiation then how could how it could not possible for matter also he studied that and also he concluded the particles of ma matter also having the wave nature 
whenever the particles of the matter are uh, propagating the exhibit the wave nature also here the wavelength the wavelength corresponding to the means the wavelength associated with the moving particles is given by according to him lambda is equal to h by small p it is the relation of the it is expression for the wavelength associated with the waves uh, of for the moving particles when moving particles uh, exhibiting the wave nature for the waves uh, the wavelength is given by lambda is equal to h by p and the waves which are associated with the moving particles are called here matter waves here lambda is the wavelength of matter waves here lambda is equal h by p h is the planck's constant and small p here momentum and it is a uh, given by h by mv lambda is equals to h by mv here lambda is the wavelength of the matter waves uh, and h is the planck's constant m is the mass of the particle and v is the velocity of the particle here and uh, here we studied already in the previous lesson in the atoms lesson that the wave nature is exhibited by the electron when it is orbiting in a particular orbit means uh, with the elementary particles like uh, electrons also there is wave nature electrons also exhibiting the wave nature these waves are called here matter waves for the matter waves the wavelength is given by the the scientist de broglie the scientist de broglie given relation for wavelength of uh, matter waves that is lambda is equals to h by mv now let us calculate let us take an example that for example there is an there is a body or there is a ball having the mass m is equals to suppose 0.12 kg and it is a uh, traveling with a velocity 20 meter per second is there any wave associated with it yes there is wave associated with it we taken a body or a ball having mass 0.12 kg and it is moving with a velocity of 20 meter per second it is also made up of matter consisting of matter is there any matter wave associated with it as yes, matter wave associated with it now let us find a wavelength for the matter wave associated with this ball now according to de broglie the wavelength of matter wave is given by the formula lambda is equal to h by mv h by mv now lambda is equal h is the planck's constant the planck's constant value is a 6.625 into 10 power minus 34 joule second here mass of the ball is 0.12 kg into velocity of the ball is uh, 